All praises to Yahweh by Hashem Yahushai, by Hashem Akakadash. Double honors to your person, the elders of Great Millstone, and Shalom to the, to the nation of Israel. Right, as I was going through YouTube within the last like couple of weeks or whatever, so one of the things that I watched must have caused me to see this video. So then I saved it to a watch later playlist. Right, and I've just come to watching it. Now, I'm just going to play this video and just quickly show that Esau likes to try to, um, he likes to try to accuse us of things that he really knows, that he does, man. All right, I'm just going to play this video. Back at it again, and we got another one from the brother Thomas Soul. Let's dive in. These people are creating a terrible problem in our cities. They can't or won't hold a job. They flout the law constantly and neglect their children. They drink too much, and their moral standards would shame an alley cat. For some reason or other, they absolutely refuse to accommodate themselves to any kind of decent, civilized life. This was said in 1956, in Indianapolis. Not about blacks or other minorities, but about poor whites from the South. Exactly. Because Esau's really the original nigger, man. All right? Esau's really the original nigger, but they like to try and... um. They like to try and push that kind of stuff onto us, man. They like to try and make out as though we're the evil one on the earth and that we're the scumbags, right? But yet we're living in a society that they've made and everyone's a scumbag. And they claim to believe in the Bible. But what does the Bible say? The Bible says that the people of a city, the people of the land, will be like what the leader's like. It won't be like what the worst people are like. All right? This is... Ecclesiastes chapter 10 and verse 2 As a judge of the people is himself So are his officers And what manner of ruler of the city is Such are they that dwell therein So if you've got a city that's got a high population Of people that are being called niggers And that are lazy And that are bums And that are stealing And that are thieves Right As you like to try and say That's because That's what you are That's because that's what you are So people follow the ruling class Don't they Right? And as you just saw from that video, right, all of these things that he mentions Brother here. Other minorities, but about poor whites from. Back at it again, and we got. Are constantly and neglect their children. They. Back at it again, and we got. All the things that you're going to see mentioned here are things that nowadays you hear being applied to us all the time, man. Another one from the brother Thomas Soul. Let's dive in. These people are creating a terrible problem in our cities. They can't or won't hold a job. They flout the law constantly and neglect their children. They drink too much, and their moral standards would shame an alley cat. For some reason or other, they absolutely refuse to accommodate themselves to any kind of decent, civilized life. This was said in 1956, in Indianapolis. Not about blacks or other minorities, but about poor whites from the South. Nor exactly. The poor, the poor of a nation, right? Because Esau likes to sacrifice his own people to try and make it seem as though everyone's equal, everyone's equal in that. Right? So that when you can say, oh, every single Edomite is rich, he can point to some of his poor, some poor people from his nation. Right? But what he's what he saw there, man, so like yeah, let me let me go over my thoughts, man. The the poor of Esau have these characteristics, and really the rich have of Esau have these characteristics as well. But because they're rich, they're able to hide behind money. But the poor Edomite is not able to hide behind money. And let me get a scripture on that quickly. This is Savak chapter 10 and verse 30. The poor man is under for his skill. And the rich man is under for his riches. But the poor Edomite don't have any riches. So people are going to take them blinders off on, on what money people have. And they're going to really analyse the character of an Edomite when he's poor. Right? Verse 31. He that is honoured in poverty... How much more in riches, and he that is dishonorable in riches, how much more in poverty, right? So these Edomites that don't have no riches, that's why them them things were said about them, and I'm gonna end up watching the whole, the whole video anyway. But I just wanted, to, I just thought I'd mention that particular part because Esau likes to try and push on us that we're lazy and that we're all of these things, right? But um, one of the presidents, man, Bill Clinton, man, he's got a whole. A whole um child that he don't even don't even care about, but he don't get called no deadbeat dad. He's got a whole tear child, man. 
a child that looks like a J, but he's a tear. But nobody ever mentions that. You know, they always want to try and mention stuff regarding us, man. And that's fair enough. If you want to mention stuff regarding us, and then you're claiming to be a fair leader and all of that, well, then you should be mentioning stuff that other people do as well, then. But they never do that. Psalm chapter 50 and verse 16. But unto the wicked, Yahweh saith, What is thou to do to declare my statutes? Or that thou shouldest take my covenant in thy mouth, seeing thou hatest instruction and castest my words behind thee? And they don't even use God's laws when it comes to judgment, man. If someone commits adultery with your wife, right? And you do something about it, which you shouldn't do in this society, right? You're just going to have to take the loss, man. Take the L, man, right? But they'll, they'll try and judge you for doing something rather than judging the two people that was adulterers and adulteress. Verse 19, Thou givest thy mouth to evil and thy tongue frame with deceit. Thou sittest and speak against thy brother. Thou slanderest thine arm over son because they're slandering us and trying to call us these things. Right, but that's really them, man. That's really them, man. There's there's a thing in this world called projection, right? And projection is pretty much where you accuse somebody of things that really you know you're doing, man, and you think that everybody's up to no good because really you know that you're up to no good, or you or you'll always put your particular way of being onto everyone else. And Esau is an expert at doing that. With us, the Israelites, man, he always accuses us of doing, doing these things, right? But really, it's him that's up to no good. Really, it's him that's the scumbag, man. Verse 20 again. Thou sittest and speakest against thy brother, and speakest against thy brother. Thou slanderest thine arm of his son. These things hast thou done, and I kept silence. Thou thoughtest that I was altogether such a one as thyself, but I will reprove thee, and set them in order. Before thine eyes, because Esau is getting exposed, man. All right, they're getting they're getting exposed, and we're getting built up in front of the eyes of Esau, gradually, man. That's why they hate seeing Hebrew Israelites teaching on the streets. They hate seeing Hebrew Israelites making videos. They hate seeing Hebrew Israelites wearing garments. They hate seeing Hebrew Israelites not think that they're not calling themselves black anymore and not calling themselves by any of the proverbs and bywords. They hate that we know that the Latinos and the Native Americans are also Israelites, just like how we are, because that takes away the um, idea of them trying to say that this is a black thing, as they like to try and put on us, which we're not black, by the way. Our skin's brown. Every single tr Israelite, is a, his skin is different shades of brown. And in fact, there's only really two different shades of people, colours of people on the earth, people with brown skin or people with red skin. And the people with red skin are Edomites and are calling themselves white. When really their skin's not white, man. But yeah, I'm going to end the lesson there. All praises to Yahweh by Hashem Yahushai, by Hashem Akakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. And Shalom to the elect of the nation of Israel. Shalom.